Hello everyone and good day dear viewers. I am Ms. Rachel Jen M. Bantilan, a second year best mathematics student. Today, I am going to discuss the third topic that I best learned through the semester from the subject Math 204, Probability Theory. And this topic is from Chapter 5, Section 5.3, which is all about normal distributions, finding values. So in this topic, we are going to find a z-square given the area under the normal curve, transform a z-square to an x-value, and find a specific data value of a normal distribution given the probability. From the previous section, we were given a normally distributed random variable x, and we were asked to find a probability. So in this section, we will be given a probability and we will be asked to find the value of the random variable x. Here are some examples on finding a z-score given an area. Number 1. Find the z-score that corresponds to a cumulative area of 0 0.2578. So first, locate 0 0.2578 in the standard normal table. The values at the beginning of this corresponding row and at the top of the columns give the z-score. So the z-score is equal to negative 0 0.65. Number 2, find the z-score that corresponds 44.04% of the distribution's area to its right. First, convert 44.04 equal to 0 0.4404. Because the area to the right is 0 0.4404, the cumulative area is 1 minus 0 0.4404, which is equal to, equal to 5596. Next, locate 0 0.5596 in the standard normal table. The values at the beginning of the corresponding row and at the top of the column gives the z-score. So the z-score is 0 0.15. Here are also some examples on finding z-score given a percentile. Number 1. Find the z-score that corresponds to percentile 15. The z-score that corresponds to percentile 15 is the same z-score that corresponds to an area of 0 0.15. So the area closest to 0 0.15 in the table are z, which is equal to negative 0.03 and equal to 0 0.1515 and z which is equal to negative 1.04 equal to 0 0.1492 because 0 0.15 is halfway between the two areas in the table then use the z-score that halfway between negative 1.03 and negative 1.04 so the z-score is negative 1.035. Number 2, find the z-score that corresponds to percentile 25. The z-score that corresponds to percentile 25 is the same z-score that corresponds to the area of 0 0.25. And the areas closest to 0 0.25 in the table are negative 0 0.67 and negative 0 0.68 because 0 0.25 is halfway between the two areas in the table then use the z-score that halfway between negative 0 0.67 and negative 0 0.68 so the z-score is negative 0 0.675 transforming a z-score to an x value to transform a standard z-score to a data value, x in a given population, use the formula x is equal to mean plus z times standard deviation. Example, in a human resource exam, the z-score are normally distributed with a mean of 75 and a standard deviation of 3. Find the z-score corresponding to each of, of the z-score. So number 1, z is equal to 1.47. So by using the formula, which is x is equal to mean plus z times 
the standard deviation. So, 7 plus 1.47 times 3 is equal to 79.41. And for number 2, z is equal to negative 0 0.56. So, by using the formula again, x is equal to mean plus z times standard deviation. 75 plus negative 0 0.56 times 3 is equal to 73.32. Examples finding a specific data value for a given probability. Scores for the upcut are normally distributed with a mean of 70 and a standard deviation of 5. The university will only accept those with the scores in the top of 25%. What is the lowest score that will be accepted in the university? So the exam score is the top of 25%. Is any score above 75 percentile? Find the z score that corresponds to a cumulative area of 0 0.75. Standard normal table the area that corresponds to 0 0.75, which is 0 0.7486. So the score is or the score that corresponds to an area of 0 0.75 is z, which is equal to 0 0.67. By using the formula of the equation, which is x is equal to mean plus x times standard deviation, 70 plus 0 0.67 times 5 is equal to 73.35. So the lowest score that will be accepted by the by the university is about 73.75 so that's all for today's lesson i hope that you enjoyed my discussion and i really hope that i explained it so well for more educational videos please subscribe to this channel stay safe god bless and thank you bye bye